It is beautiful, isn't it? And it does seem a shame to spoil it. And now, thanks to those friendly Swedes at Volvo, it's a lot easier for you and for me to do our bit to protect all of this. Oh, and to save a few quid into the bargain. And they make it possible with this, the Volvo S60. I know, it's not powered by electricity, water, not powered by air. There's not a fleet of hamsters under the bonnet charging along on wheels. In fact, it runs on petrol. And you buy it from Volvo like you'd buy any other Volvo. Your only clue that there's something different going on here is under there. You put your petrol in there and your LPG in there. The biofuel does exactly what it says on the boot. It's part of a whole new range from Volvo that have two tanks, one for petrol and one for LPG, liquid petroleum gas. Volvo claim it's the first car to have a completely integrated system that takes up no valuable boot space with a whacking great tank. It's hidden away. It's almost disappointing when you climb on board, settle in behind the wheel, and there's nothing again to tell you that you're driving anything different. It feels, well, very ordinary, which is, I guess, a good thing. Volvo make bifuel versions of most of their models, in fact, all of their models, so you can have an S40, a V40, an S60 like this one, a V70 big estate, or even the great big S80 saloon, all with the two fuel systems. And once we're moving, well, I'm just driving a car, really. I've got an automatic and a 2.4-litre engine. When we're running on LPG, it makes no difference. We've still got 140 brake horsepower, as we do on petrol. It's at slightly higher revs, about 500 RPM higher, which makes no difference. Your performance, no difference. 0 to 60 time, fraction of a second slower on LPG, but you wouldn't feel it. And the only thing you'll find that marks it out as different is down here, a button that says petrol. And that switches us from LPG to petrol. And I'm going to do it now. This is quite exciting, OK? Bear with me. Here we go. I'm going to press the button. I'm pressing it. I pressed it. And nothing happened. <laughs> All it says is switch to petrol on the dash. And that's it. There's not a clunk nor a word to let you know. Simple as that. I'm now on petrol. Now I'm on LPG. <laughs> I'll go on petrol again. The car automatically favours running on LPG, and there's some very good reasons for this. And this brings us on to the important point. Let's talk turkey. Let's find out just how much money we're going to save. Well, your fuel costs, for a start, they're the most obvious change. Half the price of ordinary fuel. But it doesn't stop there, because there's also some compelling reasons for considering it beyond that. For instance, tax breaks. You'll pay less vehicle excise duty on it. You'll pay less on it as a company car. That's because it runs much cleaner. It pours out less noxious stuff into the environment, and the government are keen to encourage us to do that. So obviously you not only feel good, it's where you save your money. Volvo claim as well to be the first that are manufacturing these on the same line in the same manufacturing plant alongside the ordinary petrol powered versions. And that shows just how closely linked these things are going to be and how many more manufacturers are going to be doing it. Vauxhall already do something very similar with their range. This is great. I'm actually able to make my contribution to not harming the environment as much. It's not entirely clean, just less dirty. And save money and feel good. And it doesn't hurt. It's very, very easy. We've long known that all Volvos are very, very safe for those tucked nicely inside. Now we know they're also safer for the environment, thanks to the use of LPG. And the really, really good news is performance barely suffers at all as a result. Of course, the cynical amongst us will point out that those tax breaks on fuel costs, etc., are only frozen by the government until 2004. They wouldn't encourage us to buy LPG cars and then put the tax up, would they? 